Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to learn about the command called drape and flow along surface. Drape is just like taking a bunch of objects in your bedroom or your living room, piling together and taking a sheet and pushing it down almost like a vacuum form. Flow along surface is kind of like the inverse. So you have an initial surface and some objects that you want to flow directly along the surface. So let's go over drape first. For drape, first you'll need some objects made. So let's just make a few cubes, any random size, any spacing. Let's throw in some spheres real quick. And, that's, and let's just copy them around just to break it up a little bit. That looks good. All right, now in our top view, <clears throat> if we go type in drape, D-R-A-P-E, and just select an area over the objects we want to be draped, it automatically gives us a variation of the draped surface of all those objects. Now, if we were to do that again and start to mess with auto spacing, let's put the U at 125, the V at 125, and just simply make a shape over the objects. We get more resolution out of the objects, but with higher UV. So we can see these. And that's the basics of drape. Next, let's do flow along surface. For this, you'll need a target surface and a base surface, roughly around the same size and direction. So for our target surface, I'm just gonna rebuild and turn my points on to make some sort of organic shape. I'm gonna move the base surface over a little bit. Let's bring this side up, let's bring that side up. Let's just select a whole row here and drop that down. Make it like that. Stretch this out, make it a little bit longer. And let's just rebuild it, make it a little bit smoother than what it was. That looks good to me. All right, now let's just make a cone. Doesn't matter what size. What I'm gonna do is just array it. And let's make it a little bit smaller so we can get a few more on our base surface. I'm gonna array this, let's do about 25 in the Y and the X. Z, we don't want any. Let's bring them out. And let's just select the ones we do not need off of the base surface. Here we go, so our base surface here is holding all these cones, and this is our target surface. So let's select all our base geometry that we want to flow along and let's type in flow along surface. Select the objects to flow along a surface which would be our cones. Right click base surface below the cones and then our target surface. Here. This might take a little bit of time because it's calculating every little direction of each one of these cones. So just give it a little time. There we are. If we hide our target surface now, we can see that each one of those cones roughly has been laid on the surface that we created. This can be really helpful for making different components that you 3D print or laser cut that need to fit along the surface here, or just kind of creating maybe a spiky or a voxelized object. So again, each one of those commands was drape and flow along surface.